What would you do if you saw someone you knew starring in porn? This actually happened to me. A fairly close friend from high school who I keep in touch with a few times a year at least, now lives in Asia and does adult films over there. She's cute so I obviously watch some lol. She said she actually loves her job and is treated really well by her co-workers and bosses. Been doing it several years now and probably making great money at this point. I follow her profiles and discover some new actresses through her here and there. It's interesting to have sort of an inside look at the industry. I graduated high school in 1975 and in the late 70s I saw one of our HS cheerleaders in a pretty well-known porn film. She didn't do anything sexual, they mostly used her for reaction shots, like I can't believe it people are having sex in here. She had kind of a reputation as being the cheerleader who put out. I think if anyone had asked about her and was told she was a high-end prostitute in NYC no one would have been surprised. Needless to say I'm looking forward to my 50th reunion. This happened to me. Had an ex-coworker friend show up in a video I was watching, I messaged her saying something like huh, wasn't prepared to see all that, flushed face, nice tattoo, smiley face, she had a very prominent tattoo on her butt. We joked about it and she said I wasn't the first to find her but was the first to let her know without being seedy. Met up for a drink after to catch up as obviously it had been a while. Honestly thanks for the reminder I should hit her up she was a good friend. Probably just move on. If it's a male friend? Good for them I guess. Female friend? Most are people I dated previously so seeing them nude again wouldn't be a big deal to me. Family? It'd be more surprised if there wasn't some of my sister. Brother would probably be with his wife which would be a bit awkward. Parents would be super weird but if it makes any of these people happy good for them. A lot of people in America especially the older generations are very prudish. Years ago I worked for a large company and heard gossip that a girl on our team, who I had been working alongside with for over a year, used to be in porn. Through some investigating, I learned it was true her video was not my thing and I couldn't help but feel like she did it out of financial desperation. I didn't think of her any differently at work as I could tell this corporate job was a healthy new chapter in her life. I hope she's doing well these days. True story saw a girl from work I work in a call center, she was in a different campaign on Pornhub. I messaged her, chatted a bit, pointed out we worked together and asked her if it was right I was messaging her. She said nah. I offered to be a cameraman for her. We hooked up every weekend for a month until I called it off because I couldn't stand the fact she smelled of three kinds of smoke. Cigarette, weed and campfire. If the question is asking, what would I do if I were to find out one of my friends was pursuing a career in porn? My answer would be absolutely nothing. I don't change how I am with my friends depending on what career they're in. If they brought it up to me to talk about I'd be more than happy to go into it with them. However if they never said anything, I wouldn't either. Just seems like an unnecessary thing to bring up. Initially I would be grossed out but a part of me would be curious enough for me to watch it again. After being grossed out the second time, I would watch it a third time because I'm used to it now. I would look at the person more closely, in a criticism type of way. Then when I see that person again I would just shake my head in disappointment because of course I could have done better. Happened with three different was a weird kid who went to a porn convention to try to connect with people and become a male porn found out it's way more lucrative to do gay porn. The second was a teacher at my high school then years later I ended up in the same EMT class as the third was one of my client's older sisters who started doing OnlyFans and now does porn. My friend worked with a girl he recognized from porn, she was also pretty open about it. He told all of us and we said who fucking cares, are you off work yet we can afford this place and the show we want to see has already opened doors. I think she worked there a couple weeks and went back to porn. The early OO shows in Chinatown PDX were way better than the porn on the internet. Happened to me. One of my high school classmates like a year or two after graduation. She was arrested and one of the jailers recognized her from an amateur porn clip, shared that with a mutual friend of mine and it spread from there. TBH I hope she didn't get dragged into that realm too far. Perfect example of what desperation does to a person. Sad really, in the end. I've had this happen with a co-worker. Obese woman with a very big butt, like she had the T-Rex pose type of booty. Was looking up porn, saw a video listing of her taking a BBC, had no desire to watch it, and thankfully said site no longer exists, well it might but I can't remember the name, it was one of the popular ones. I pretended it never happened. Someone who was dating a guy in my friend group was in a porno. My best friend and I saw about a minute of it she was fucking some old dude and we never spoke of it to her. 
It's not like she didn't know it existed and we figured everyone either already knew and didn't talk about it, or they didn't know and we didn't need to tell them lol. Depends on the porn. If they were clearly an active and consenting participant, I'd just turn it off and never mention it. If it was one of those amateur style videos and there was any possibility they didn't know it existed, I'd screenshot it and try to find the best, most tactful way to ask them if they knew about it. I actually did see an old FWB on a porn site. It was a video aggregator site that posts lots of vids. I was scrolling through one day and found her. It was a low budget amateur video with grainy video and the audio was barely there. But it was her. 100. I added it to my favorites but it got deleted a few years later. Yeah I have experienced this. A guy I went to high school with, about 5 years after graduating. Immediately sent it to all my friends captioned holy shit look at so and so. Saw him out at a club not too long after that and despite lots of giggling and avoiding eye contact I didn't mention it. I grew up friends of one, and my best friend dated her in high school. She became pretty well known, and I didn't realize until she had quit. Didn't really surprise me as she was quite confident with her body. It seemed to really screw up her life. I've never brought it up after I found out. If it's someone I like, politely tell them that I found it and that they should probably change some things on their profile so nobody else who knows them can find it. If it's someone I don't like, probably blackmail. For legal reasons this is a joke, I'm not an asshole like that. It depends on whether or not it's a family member or a really close friend versus an acquaintance. In the first instance, I would turn it off and never tell them I saw it. If it's just an acquaintance, I would probably watch. At least some. Might tell them later, if it's memorable. I mean is it weird? Most people around here are either escort sugars, so this wouldn't surprise me. My manager is an escort. She said she needed a home and a car. So one of her clients got it. She works as a manager during daytime. To meet more potential clients. And, when I was in middle school a friend introduced me to porn and we all watched it together for a bit before eventually calming down lol. However, as for the answer to that question, I'd just leave them be while also being surprised but it's none of my business though. Worked at a video store where another employee's niece was a performer in a porn that was rented at the store. One evening the employee and his niece came in to rent that porn because the families were all in town and were all going to watch it that night together. I knew someone who did porn. I didn't care. It's whatever to me. Some people will give them a hard time just because they can. For her it was just a chapter in her life. She doesn't do it anymore and last I checked got a different job with a husband and baby. So I found out that this chick I was really attracted to had an account on Pornhub. I checked it out, rubbed one out, and then forgot about it for months. Thought about it doggy on like 6 months later, looked it up for another round, but it had been taken down. I'll do again what I actually did the first time. Tell my trustworthy dude friends about it and tell them to keep it on the DL the last thing she needs is the whole small town knowing her business, but at the same time it's too juicy to not tell anyone at all. What's weird is a girl I used to date back in the day, did porn a few years after we broke up. After a friend of mine showing me her video and asking if that was insert name, I now have confirmation that I am not packing the heat I thought I was. If it wants one of my friends I would record one of those YouTube reacts videos critiquing the film and send it to them just to fuck with them. This is entirely something any of my friends would do to one another and laugh about over some drink. Everyone I went to high school with does of and posts links everywhere. This happened to me the other day, it was dramatic. She was my cashier the following day and I had to pretend to catch up and chit chat like I didn't just see it. Well, woman? What's her role? Blonde? My son's teacher? Name Bianca? Long tan gymnast legs? And as you could bounce a quarter off of? Email you about meeting out of town, she'll bring ecstasy. Not a good damn thing. Fucking Mary, tell them that. 1. I know. 2. I respect their decision and wish them well. 3. I won't watch unless they want me to. 4. I won't tell anyone. 5. I'm always here to talk whenever they want. I don't think there's much else more I can do. So, fun fact, been in this situation. An old high school friend of mine started doing porn. We'd always had a flirty relationship, and it was her job, so I wound up pitching some money their way and enjoying some content. When when? This actually happened when I was in high school. It was the sister of a girl in my grade. She got teased pretty bad about it. I never really said anything to her. But as a young kid it was absolutely wild to all of us. If you mean see them in passing IRL, then I'd act the same. It's just a job, 
I just now know what they look like naked. If you mean seeing them in the actual porn scene itself, well, I've always been a fan of the arts. A classmate that I was in marching band with in high school was an initiative playboy. Her mom works with my wife and every time my wife mentions her I can only think I've seen that woman's daughter completely naked. I know exactly which family member it would be too. It would 100 be my grandma. And she would 100 not be ashamed of it. She's the one who gave me a real sex ed, and let's just say, she educates by sharing details, embarrassed smiley face. Reach out to them to make sure they know it's on the internet and is not an act of revenge porn. Then I would make sure they are safe and not being sex trafficked or raped like the millions of videos online that are. So fun fact. I went to high school with someone who is now in porn. I haven't heard from him in a great while. I have watched countless hours of porn to see if I could find him. I asked but he didn't want to say. The pandemic lead to an uprising amount of people I know creating an OnlyVans page. Let's be honest. Would you pay $5 to see an attractive girl or guy you know naked? In my opinion, it was $25 well spent. Obviously I would spontaneously combust. Kidding. No, why would I do anything or care? That's none of my business. They make thousands of porn movies every day. Someone I know is bound to be in one of them. Nothing. I just found a girl on a subreddit I know in real life, whole asshole and all. Now I can't find her. Pretty sure she blocked me a little. Looking for a bull mouth. She won't even look at me now.